I think one of the things which we were discussing earlier that, um, that is good to know, uh, and that is that sometimes uh, if people recommend a book to you, um, you need to make your own judgment. Yeah, you okay. um, and, and the truth is that books don't always speak to people in the same way. Yeah. You know, we're all, we're all different. And, you know, a new believer um, is, is going through different things to, uh, you know, an older believer. Um, you know, what you're going through in your Christian life, your church situation, your work situation, um, your family situation, your friends, all these things contribute to where you are right now. Mm. Uh, and so when you're reading a book, sometimes you might have a book that somebody says, I, I just was so helped by that book. And you read it and it leaves you cold. And you wonder, is that me? Is, is there a problem with me? Well, well, there might be, of course. <laughs> but, but sometimes it's nothing to do with you. It's just that when that person read the book, they were at a particular point in their Christian life yep. where that book really spoke to them. You're reading the book, but you're in a different place. Um, and it, it might be a great book, but it just doesn't speak to you in the same way. And I think that's something that you know, we have to be careful, both as recommenders of books, we have to be careful not to be telling people all the time, this is the best thing since sliced bread, you will benefit so hugely from this, you've yep. got to be careful we don't do that too much. Um, but also as readers of Christian books, I think it, it's helpful to, to have that at the back of your mind, that okay, just because somebody said this was great, uh, and I'm not perhaps getting from it what they got from it, uh, that might just be because of the circumstances in which the two of us read this book, and it's mm. quite different.